Hey YouTube, it's the Thrifty Misses here and I am here today with a really, really super quick um, Dollar Tree haul um, and a couple reviews of a few Dollar Tree products. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you the stuff that I just got at the Dollar Tree and then I will do a review on a few products, okay? So lately I have not been wanting, well I want to go to the Dollar Tree. But I'm just like, you know, y'all haven't really seen me like that because I'm like, I need to stop spending. Like, no one really talks about it in our community, the Dollar Tree community or the bargain community. But a dollar is still a dollar and a dollar adds up. So, you know, I'm trying to pay off some bills. I'm trying to get myself right. Get myself right. And in order to do that, I have to cut down my Dollar Tree trips. So, like I was saying, you might see me a little bit less. However, when you do see me, you will see me, okay? So, I'm going to go through this stuff really, really quick. And, yeah, that's it. So, Valentine's Day is coming up, I guess. Well, the stores are making you think it's like tomorrow, but it's not. We just finished Christmas, okay? However, um, I did get my son some Ninja Turtle Valentines for his class. I... We had Spider-Man, I guess, for the last two years, but um, for some reason I figured we still had enough from last year left over, and then when I looked, it was only like six in the box. So I'm like, I was like, oh, I should just get him more Spider-Man. But then I was like, no, he really likes Ninja Turtle. So I just got him a fresh box of Ninja Turtle, and then maybe next year, if we have some Ninja Turtle left over and some Spider-Man left over, the whole class would just be getting a mix match. Whatever, it's not that serious. So, um, I got him these, and they come 32 Valentines in a box, which is pretty good, because they sell the same Valentines at, like, Walmart and Target or whatever, and it's not a dollar, okay? So, I got a few food items, um, uh, and all the, also, nothing is in, like, a certain order, so bear with me. I got a Betty Crocker Super Moist Yellow Cake Mix, Butter Yellow Cake Mix, um, Today it snowed a little bit, and we've had a really long weekend this weekend. You know, like, it's basically been like a four-day weekend for me. So, you know, I'm in the house, and I'm like, oh, I want something sweet. So, I will be making this tomorrow. Um, my son really likes the uh, little cereal bars, and I forgot to get them when I was at the grocery store. So, I was like, oh, let me just get these. Even though the last time I got these, they were hard as a rock. Hopefully... That was just a bad box, and these will be fine, but I got the mixed fruit. I also got our staple Snyder 8-count mini pretzels. I take these in my lunch as well. I put them in my son's lunch, but I take them in my lunch as well, like with the little cup of the Jif to go that I get from the Dollar Tree, and it works out pretty good. It's a really good snack. And I think the last food item that I got today, everyone has been talking about the the gummies, Black Forest, Black Forest gummies for a dollar, like the really big bag for a dollar, a dollar tree. That's all well and good, but I don't really like those that much. But then when I, and I saw them in the Dollar Tree today too, but I do like these and I saw the same size bag, the Trolley Sour Bright Crawlers. Look how big this bag is. It's the same size bag as the Black Forest, but I like these. So, I'm going to be sitting in the bed tonight eating these. So, I was really excited about that. I like to take them to the movies, but... And I saw the, the other size, the smaller size, but then when I saw that, I was like, oh, I'm good. I'll get that. Oh, I'm sorry. I did get one more food item. I got the Del Monte Dice Pears. I bought two of these um, last week, and I've already gone through one pack. These are good. My son doesn't really like pears, but they're actually really good. Um, so I put them in my lunch as a little snack. So I got one more pack of those. Um, okay. I got some Chenille stems, or also known as pipe cleaners. I got these for a friend mail that I'm working on, currently working on. And I also got 
this little sleep mask. I thought this was cute. It says offline and I got this for um, a friend mail. So I'm um, not going to say who it is for, but um, I'm working on the friend mail right now. It's still taking me a little bit of time because I want to, you know, make sure I get nice, good stuff, the right stuff for that particular person. So um, it probably still be a while before you see the video of that friend mail because I'm still working on putting everything together. Okay, so also, I was watching Pretty and Flawed today, and this is what made me go to Dollar Tree, first of all. And I'm going to have to go back to my local Dollar Tree, because I did not go to my local Dollar Tree today. I went to the one in my parents' neighborhood, and it's smaller than my local Dollar Tree. So, today I went, because I saw Pretty and Flawed haul these Dr. Miracle products for like natural hair and this is called curl care by dr miracle curl friendly blowout foam um with wheat protein vitamin h and calendula extract to strengthen moisture and protect does not harm your natural curl pattern see that does not harm your natural curl pattern this is seven fluid ounces y'all these are like real size products like this is the dollar and dr miracle is a real brand you know so i wanted to go see everything that i could find and the dr miracles but y'all this was the only thing left the only thing like the only package of any dr miracles products period then people clean that section out you hear me so, I hope, I hope, I can make it to mine tomorrow, to my local Dollar Tree tomorrow, and hopefully there's something there. Hope I don't even know if they have, you know, this stuff in yet. So, hopefully, I can get the other products in the line. Because this is the Curl Friendly Blowout Foam, and I have a blowout um, product from Shea Moisture that I paid at Target, I think it was on clearance for $7. So this is, you know, good for a dollar. You know, I'm willing to try it for a dollar because natural hair products, let's be for real, are not cheap. You think you're saving money by not having a relaxer in your hair. You're not paying $65 every six weeks. You're not paying $35 every two weeks to get your hair done. Yes, that is true. However, you're paying $25 for a bottle of curl cream or twist out cream, you know, so it, it kind of, in the end, it might low, it might balance out, plus all the time that you spend on doing your natural hair. So, but I thought that was pretty cool, and I will try this out and let you guys know. Also, I think the last thing I got, yeah, the last thing I got in my haul today, I'm doing laundry this weekend, and I have not made it to Walmart or Target. So I got a little bitty thing of Tide to finish the laundry because our detergent is like on its last legs. It's running out. So um, I just got a little bitty thing of Tide. And with this, I will be able to do all the rest of my laundry for the week to finish everything. And we'll be good until I can make it to get a real size bo bottle of detergent. Okay, that is it. That is all for everything that I hauled today. However... I have a few products that I am wanting to review. Okay, first product. I don't know where it is. Okay, let's just start with this. So, I bought the Keurig Hot Javalia Pumpkin Spice Latte pack. It comes six in a pack. Everyone's been hauling these. I don't really like pumpkin spice, but this is actually really good. Um, if you're looking for something, um, you know, a good value, this is it. It's a dollar. And if you go to the grocery store and get this same thing, it's like six or seven dollars on sale, at least where I live. And so for me to get this for a dollar, I'm getting, t I bought like two or three of these. And this one actually is not open because it's for a friend mail, but um, I bought about two or three of these and I kind of feel like I'm going to get tired of pumpkin spice latte. However, it's a dollar. <laughs> it's a dollar instead of me spending, you know, $10 on one box of K-Cups. I don't want to spend that even though I love Keurig K-Cups. So, um, 
I use these at work. My job has a Keurig, however, they don't provide coffee. So this is a good alternative, you know, uh, a good thing for me to take to work. I keep it in my desk, I pour the little packet in my cup, and then I take the Keurig, the K cup, into the kitchen, use the Keurig, and that's it. So um, this, um, and they don't expire until April 2016. So if anybody's looking into these, um, they're, they're, they're really good. Also, I have a special request. No store I've been to has any other flavor. I would like to try the other flavors. If anyone would like to trade, you need me to send you some money for some cake cups at the Dollar Tree, please comment below. I'm willing to trade. I'm willing to do a friend mail swap. All you got to do is send me the vanilla latte and the caramel macchiato, like as many as you can find, because I need K-Cups. And I don't want to keep using pumpkin spice latte forever. So, if anyone's willing to trade, do a friend mail swap, please comment below. Let me know. I'm willing to do a friend mail swap with you or whatever for some K-Cups. Please let me know. Moving on. The next product I want to review is this Lorena Sparkling Coconut Lime Soda. Y'all, this is so good. This is so good. I have to be honest, I don't like coconut, but I like this. This is so good. And when I looked it up online, um, well, clearly I got this at Dollar Tree. This is $1. For this one bottle and it's 33.8 fluid ounces this is a big bottle now some of the bottles at the store they have like a little like champagne pop thing that's a smaller bottle this is the bigger bottle with the twist off cap get the bigger bottle and you get more for your dollar but when I tell y'all that this is so delicious it's good it's really good this is like my third bottle and I just bought my dad a bottle you know I tried to let him know about it and he was like oh whatever and I bought him a bottle and now he's all excited bet you he gonna like it this is good so like I was saying when I looked it up online one case of this is $52 one case like a 12 pack is $52 you could go to the Dollar Tree and get a 12 pack for $12 how much money is that save you do the math okay this is really good, and they also have other flavors. Pretty and flawed, pretty and flawed. Hauled the pink lemonade, and when I was leaving out of my Dollar Tree, they had like the lemon flavor. I want to try that. I'm gonna have to go back and get that because this is the only flavor I've been seeing. However, it's very good. It's delicious. So if you're looking at this and thinking about it, go ahead and try it. Just try one. I think you'll like it. And the last thing I want to review is the. Cerave Therapeutic Hand Cream. This is really good. My hands are always very, very dry, especially in the winter. And our winter this year has been so back and forth. I didn't really need it as much, but I'm constantly washing my hands. I have a three-year-old. It's cold and flu season. I'm constantly washing my hands. So with that being said, I bought this Cerave Therapeutic Hand Cream and I keep it on my nightstand behind me. And as you can see, I've been using it. Um, it's It works pretty well. Because um, I wash my hands right before I go to bed and stuff like that. And, you know, um, it works pretty good. Because my hands have a tendency, because I wash dishes and things like that, my hands have a tendency to um, crack really bad. So this one is, medi you know, pretty good medicated and it works really good. Now, on the box, um, I guess the reason why Dollar Tree was getting so many of these is because the expiration date is soon. I think for adult therapeutic hand cream, it's okay. Like, you can go past the expiration date. Now, for the baby diaper rash cream that they are selling uh, with the same brand, I probably wouldn't do that. I probably wouldn't use it on a baby. However, my skin, an adult skin, is strong enough to handle some lotion <laughs> past the expiration date. So, I think you should be okay. So, if anybody has any questions about this, yes, it is very good. You should get it. And it's also like $8 in Target. So you might as well get this for a dollar. 
while you can. Yeah, you guys, that's it. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And please don't forget if anyone is trying to trade for some K cups, do a, a male swap, a female swap. Please hit me up in the comments. My email address is linked in the bio, in my bio. Um, so please hit me up on my Instagram. Please don't forget to check that out. And um, just don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to swap for some K-Cups, let us just know. Bye.